try to explain it. Okay, I will try at the end to motivate why uh, we would like to extend this. But by now, the model uh, or, or the uh, the model considers an universe with two paths, the uh, two path uh, with two pieces that are in principle not connected. Well, the evolution of the universe with two pieces uh, of the universe not connected is a trivial thing. I mean, one piece uh, evolved in in its proper way and the other in a separate way. But, okay, uh, but uh, what we propose is something or a mechanism in, that is inspired in a, uh, in the ideas of non-commutative geometry, in the sense that uh, these two patches with uh, described by its own metrics, and this is cosmology, so it's only scale factors what will enter in the discussion. These two patches uh, described by these two scale factors, in principle, in principle, could interact uh, through the formation of a Poisson bracket of the Poisson bracket structure of the of the of the model. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, in this sense, this model is a, is an example of uh, and the idea of non-commutative fields. Non-commutative fields was an, an old idea we were working several years ago, where we consider uh, instead of coordinates or non-commuting coordinates, we consider um, non-commuting fields. I mean, non-commutativity in the space of fields. So in this sense, this is an idea of a non-commutativity. The word non-commutativity uh, is a... Uh, uh, belongs to the area of um, quantum mechanics, but uh, this is a classical theory, but we use the same term, non-commutative uh, non -commutative structure. Mm -hmm. And the idea is uh, to, to extend this non-commutativity instead of coordinates, extend directly to the space of, uh, of fields. So here we have our fields that are the metric in particular because we are considering on, uh, only, uh, we're considering a cos cosmological model. Um, these, uh, the fields are the scale factors. So we consider two scale factors, which could represent or could uh, describe, as we said uh, at the beginning, two patches of the, of the universe or even, but this is a, a, a matter of discussion, a matter of interpretation still, uh, uh, could be even two pieces of the of, of, uh, of a set of universes in a kind of multiverse version of, uh, of the universe. But for now, it's just a laboratory to test this idea of, let me use the, this non-commutative uh, idea uh, for uh, gravity. And... The model, well, here is, this is not the model, this is just an example uh, how an interaction could participate or could be induced by this non-commutativity, or it would be much better to say due to this uh, non-standard Poisson bracket. Uh, this is the Hamiltonian of, uh, in principle, one could say the free particle. This is the, uh, this is the Landau problem. Uh, this is the Hamiltonian of, uh, in principle, a free particle. With this uh, uh, poison bracket, that is, this is uh, the standard one, this piece, and this is a non trivial one. And B is the constant, is the magnetic field. Mm -hmm. And this system, in principle, this system could be written uh, in terms of a standard uh, variables and uh, canonical uh, coordinates in the phase space that should be P and the same X. With this, uh, with this uh, shift, that is uh, what uh, people call the Bob's shift, and this Hamiltonian, uh, it's uh, more, it's it's easy to see that this Hamiltonian is the this one here with a standard Poisson bracket struct. So in this sense, the deformation of uh, of uh, some phase space variables uh, gives me a theory that exhibits um, uh, an inter an interaction. Well, is this idea what we try to uh, replicate in the case of uh, cosmology with two uh, with two scale factors? Um, okay, let me uh, skip this because it's uh, just it's not interesting now. 
So we follow this uh, analogy, and then we consider this universe that in principle is described with this two scale factor A and B, and um, a Poisson bracket that is uh, not the standard one. I mean, this is the canonical conjugate momentum associated to this scale factor A, and the other is B. This alpha, well, it's an index one or two or A or, or B. So this is uh, telling us that uh, the canonical uh, momentum, the uh, canonical uh, or the conjugate momentum to A and the conjugate momentum to B uh, satisfy this poison bracket that is uh, non-trivial with uh, some parameter that can be choose uh, with the uh, with the scale of energy energy square. We will we will we can. Uh, change uh, uh, this uh, this description in terms of uh, this kappa that is a uh, is a dimensionless parameter. So in the rest of this uh, talk, we will talk just about kappa kappa and theta are just uh, rescaled by uh, the dimension uh, uh, arguments. So now the system the 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 universe is described through this. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, this uh, equation four means in uh, in if you go into uh, commutator means that the the momenta the, the components of the momenta cannot be measured uh, simultaneously. I mean, is that uh, yes? Is... This is exactly yes. In principle, uh, yes. This is the uh, this is the idea uh, behind. Uh, if you consider uh, or or we try to. Let's say if we can construct this uh, uh, the quantum mechanical formulation, uh, this would be the idea behind behind this. But uh, at this level is a classical uh, description. So these are Poisson brackets that should be commutators in, a, but always in the space of uh, of fields. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is a uh, this this is the the the, the final goal of, of of this. But but at this level is a is a classical description. Uh, the Hamiltonian is here. Uh, it... Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is the three-dimensional curvature that will be taken zero. This is for the B side, and these are the cosmological constants uh, for the A and B and B sectors. Uh, so this Hamiltonian, if uh, without condition four, is described just two sections that are not connected in any way. But uh, due to this uh, non-trivial choice, well, here we can see the equations of motion. Here is the new terms that are not present in the standard description. I mean, otherwise it would be just two patches which do not uh, interact or do not uh, talk each other. So let me, uh, okay. But uh, here we have another field also, this, uh, uh, this N uh, which, uh, which uh, ensures the, Time reparameterization in, in invariance, and the equation of motion for this uh, uh, for this variable gives me this constraint that is uh, in the in the standard case should be the the, the constraints of the, the the first order equation mm -hmm. in second order that is the standard uh, the standard way of uh, for uh, that we use to read this to write this uh, is here for the for a and b sec uh, sectors so here you see well this uh, this uh, the terms that should be we understand or we interpret like uh, as a uh, interaction terms so the sector b uh, evolves with an with the terms that connect the evolution with sector a and the same for sector a 
uh, that is connected with the uh, with the uh, with B, and the condition for the uh, well, well the, for the uh, derived from the constraint of the invariance uh, time to parameterization. So in order to get to get this equation, you you have Einstein's equation. What do you use? No, uh, I use this uh, the Hamiltonian and the Hamiltonian. Yeah, how do you get the Hamiltonian? Yes, 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 yes. Thanks. Yeah, and we can we can ask if it is possible to write everything in terms of a standard um, a standard uh, uh, variables uh, as in the in the in the case of uh, electro electro uh, magnetostatic uh, or in the Landau problem, um, and the answer is yes. We can we can implement this uh, uh, Bob's shift and write everything in terms of uh, of standard variables and the hamiltonian well the hamiltonian can be written again uh with uh, now with explicitly with this uh, with the terms uh, of interaction that we can read uh, through these uh, kappa terms and how do you uh, get the curvature there that's that's my question and the sort of the the lambdas i mean the... what 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 how do you get the curvature the the case the case of A in case of B and the cosmological constant. I mean, unless you use Einstein's equations, uh, I'm not sure how do you get this Hamiltonian. But, but the Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian, uh, you something that you posit at the at the beginning. I mean, you will study the theory with a Hamiltonian that will gives you back the uh, usual the standard equations of the evolution of uh, cosmology. Well, so, come from Heisen's equation then. <laughs> I, 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 I can I cannot hear pretty well. The Einstein's equation, you say? Yeah. Uh, Einstein's equation I recover when you uh, well, these are the first order Einstein equation. And mm -hmm. when you when you put, I mean you can put in the more familiar way of second order, and you will recover what is uh, what should be the Einstein Einstein equation. Uh, a problem, one problem that uh, one could uh, or, or we could try to solve, but we haven't succeeded on this, is: um, is it possible to write the hello? I'm I'm really sorry. I don't know what is happening here, but in sometimes uh, everything restarts, and I I'm, I'm not well. Well, let me. Uh, indeed, uh, if you write this as an as the usual uh, or the standard Einstein equation, you can read the the energy momentum tensor of the of the theory uh, with the. Uh, with the, with this part, well, I, 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 there's a kappa that is uh, lost here, but for example, uh, with this uh, B and A term that mixes the. Okay. Uh, no, this is just okay. This is just to say that we can recover. I mean, the th theory is consistent because we can recover due to the uh, the invariance. Conservation of the team you knew uh, gives you the 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 other uh, the other equation of motion the, the the B sector equation of motion. So uh, you can read this as the standard cosmology for one sector that is modified with a kind of source term due to the other sector. Uh, we will adopt here the the for for this model or for the for the rest of the talk 
we will say that we live in the A sector and B sector is a sort of hidden source of uh, for the interactions and for the evolution uh, or for the dynam dynamics of A sector. Uh, the, the system should be symmetric. I mean, symmetric, uh, you can choose B and A and it is not hard. You can see uh, that uh, it is possible to show that if you can change A to B, the, there's no, the, the system is symmetric, but you need to change the, the, the kappa by minus kappa because the deformation is in the Poisson bracket that is uh, anti-symmetric. So uh, it's just a matter of convention say that we live in one of the sectors that we would call the A sector. And the B sector can be, uh, we can, uh, we can think to, uh, to uh, we can think in the B sector as a kind of hidden sector, hidden, but uh, you see the effect th through this uh, interaction. In the rest of the talk, we we just uh, consider the three uh, the, the three dimensional sector curvature zero, and this is just uh, a couple of uh, these are the numeric uh, numerical solutions for for example, when you consider uh, the cosmological constant in the sector B uh, bigger than the one in the sector A. And you see for here, uh, and here are plot for different values of kappa, which in principle should be, or, or one can think, or one can ask that kappa is a small parameter, but uh, these are numerical solutions that these are not perturbation so, uh, uh, solutions. So, or perturbation theory, so you can consider even uh, big uh, values of, of of kappa. And here you see that the evolution, for example, of the A sector is uh, uh, the, just the scale, the scale factor, the scale factor due to this uh, interaction terms induced by B and the and the Poisson bracket deformation. Uh, you can see, for example, here for uh, big uh, values of kappa, this uh, oscillation of A due to the presence of B. Uh, but here it's uh, just to say that in principle, you see, for example, uh, sectors with uh, where, where this um, uh, A start to, 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 to it's a kind of uh, accelerated the expansion. And then you have a contraction of the scale factor and so on. Um, here, well, here is not uh, so visible, but here for bigger kappa, it's, we would say that the presence of the B sector with this deformation might induce uh, an accelerated expansion, for example, and, but with a decelerated expansion also, followed by a decelerated expansion and, and so on, a periodic uh, behavior. Um, I'm sorry, for I ask a couple of simple questions. I mean, I'm sorry if they are too simple, but no, one no, of no. The things I, would, I would like to ask is what separates these, these two regions? I mean, because there's going to be some sort of kink, you no, know, uh, sort of in space time or some sort of domain war or something like that. And then well, that are you going to talk about that or, or not? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, no, no, because it's something that it, it would be very nice if we could uh, could uh, say that, for example, the the regions are separated by kind of topological defects, and they uh, just talk because of this uh, the, the formation parameter. They, this would be nice to have a picture like this, for example. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have this uh, this picture now. Uh, but it, it it could be a possibility in the interpretation. I mean the. The even an interpretation with a universe that is uh, not homogeneous, and these are uh, these uh, uh, these scale factors are described in different sectors, uh, which uh, and uh, because the, the 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 universe is not homogeneous, or or even sectors that we are uh, are not observed uh, right now, but no, we we will not uh, address this uh, this uh, the solution with this uh, starting okay. from from this yes. Thing. But, but this is a really interesting uh, scenario. Yeah, yes, of course. The, the I... simple question is, um, the usual cosmological uh, scenario comes from the fact that the, the universe is uh, isotropic and homogeneous, and, and that sort of contradicts your hypothesis here. Are you going to mention, talk about that? Certain uh... 
Uh, yes, but uh, here the isotropy and um, homogeneity is restricted to one, 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 or or, or separate separated sectors. I mean, it's not an, 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 and and indeed this is the this is one of the starting motivation. Let's uh, let's see what happens if this uh, condition is satisfied at at the at the, at, the, at some scales, but not at all the scales. This is a possibility also. Yes, okay. yes. But in every in, in in the in in the region A, for example, let's say this uh, using this uh, this this um, uh, what we're saying here in the region A, you can or you can uh, try to recover the standard uh, the standard description that you observe now, and in this region you can recover this homogeneity, for example, and this uh, and, and and isotropy. Yes, 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 yes. This is a possibility. Yeah, uh, this is. Uh, and uh, second, uh, this is a result also, but for the case where cosmological constants are considered uh, uh, similar. But uh, here I, I, I didn't put here the case when one cosmological constant is zero. That is very interesting because uh, uh, you can consider, for example, uh, the one of the patch A. a uh, that is where uh, we adopted the, the the idea that we live in A. And uh, there you don't have cosmological constant, but still you have a sort of dynamical cosmological constant constant that uh, you inherit from the B side due to this effect. Uh, but, okay, so... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, hmm? one question. Uh, what is the physical meaning, if there is a physical meaning for this kappa? You, you said that this kappa was proportional to this uh, di deformation parameter parameter yes. theta yes Pro it's a it's a kappa is now the is a rescaling of the theta parameter uh with the with the is a theta is kappa divided by the newton constant so mm -hmm. in principle in principle for example you can say that uh, for uh, in the limit of uh, strong interactions, let's say G uh, going to infinity, for example, this theta go to, to zero for the fixed kappa. So uh, it's like to say that in the limit of, uh, of very strong interactions, the, those two universe evolves completely independent. Uh, it's a very similar to the idea of uh, strong interaction in gravity when you exactly takes g going uh, not to zero, g going to infinity, and then you can see that the equations of motion decouple in the sense that well, now let me say uh, in the, in, the, in the proper way, you can see that the equations of motion no longer depends on uh, the spatial uh, coordinates. It's only a, it's only a temporal evolution, so you don't have connection between the two uh, observers that evolve uh, in time. So uh, this is uh, this is the this uh, kappa here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a re it's uh, the, the, the deformation parameter is theta, but it's convenient to write in terms of kappa and the Newton constant, and try to and and so you can take, for example, the uh, the oh I, I I forgot the words now uh, ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the word. But G going to infinity. This is uh, has a name. This is a strong interaction limit. But uh, uh, you can mm -hmm. take this, and and you have two universes that evolve without uh, without any interaction, much uh, much like the, what happened in, in in the original general relativity, where you can do this also. I mean, you write the Hamiltonian, and you see that the part that depends on derivatives, special derivatives goes with one over g so when g goes to infinity you decouple all the dependence on on the uh, that and uh, the dynamics depend on on the t uh, coordinate the, this is more or less the idea mm -hmm. I, i'm a little confused with the physical picture of this because um in in a standard cosmology you have a one scale factor which basically tells you how big is the universe? And you have, for instance, this uh, spatial curvature, but mm -hmm. here you have two spatial curvatures. So in 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 you are describing two universes 
or one universe with this uh, with this model could you well, clarify that please yes this is a matter of uh, discussion uh in the sense that this model in principle could describe and a scenario where you have two universes uh which uh, with this uh, uh, describe uh, these two scale factors and if you have two more universe is something that we need to see after discussing this but uh, in principle you can think on two universe uh, universes and you are trying to see if the universes do, do not uh, uh, they they do not interact well the the, the problem is uh, is trivial i mean you have one you, the universe where you live and that's all but here the problem is what happens if you admit th this uh, deformation in the poison bracket structure of the theory and then you will induce this um, this interaction between coupling between, between the two Mm -hmm. this, this coupling this is one possible uh, inter interpretation but mm -hmm. also you can you can think that okay my universe is something that i can detect but uh, i i and i extend all my physical law to the whole universe but the universe observable is something that is uh, finite and what my my hypothesis of the properties of the universe like uh, homogeneity and uh I sort of thank you. Uh, they are limited to this observational universe, for example, for example. Or even we can uh, as a, uh, uh, as a, you said before, uh, we can think even that the universe evolved and evolved and you generate uh, not connected pieces, maybe because of some topological obstruction. Or, or topological objects, and this represents the uh, description of all these sectors, which in principle are not connected. Now, if you ask me uh, what is the right interpretation, my answer is I don't know. I don't know physically now how to. What of this interpretation is the the proper one? This is. Okay. A, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank thanks. Uh, so let me. Let me see what happened if we, or if we put matter in the in in the system. Well, if you put matter in the system, we our first uh, attempt was trying to see what happened if you put uh, matter in system in in the two patches A and B. But um, if you put interaction between the matters in those uh, in in in, in uh, interaction between the the, the matter uh, in A and B. Well, this is uh, something that uh, we don't know how to do, but it also offers problems of interpretation. I mean, I have two two kinds or two sort of matters that interact, and we have a picture of how things interact now. So to skip this, these are the equation of motion written again in 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 the in the second order for uh, way, uh, and the problem here was how to include matter in the in the theory. So we said let's put matter on pay uh, on each section of the universe in, on each part of the universe and this matter is independent we will not uh, assume that the matter uh, for example in the sector b that in principle in this uh, in this uh, what we are saying the sector b is not the part where we live in the, in the in this choice of uh, of uh, that, that 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 we said that at, at the beginning we live in in the a patch it's uh, just an, an assumption uh, but we will not say anything about the sector B, saying that it's a kind of a strange matter. We will say that it's the same kind of matter that we have on A, but they uh, they do not interact. So uh, to do that, well, the the proper way to to do this is uh, to modify the the the, the Einstein equation, uh, adding the, the usual terms of uh, energy and pressure for this. Uh, for this barotropic uh, fluid with uh, index uh, index omega, which is a for the matter in the in one of the in the patch a, or index omega sub b, and the modification of the equations of motion should be this. Now, the proper way, or well, I, I wouldn't say that the proper way, but it would be much better if we can do this uh, with the Lagrangian, or but uh, we are it's not possible to do that at least until now. 
but this is a minimal modification of the of, of, of the model. I mean, with this, if kappa, if kappa is equal to zero, with this, we recover two universe independent with matter evolving in the usual way in one and matter evolving in uh, in the usual one in the usual way in the other. So the second order equation of motion are here. And now to solve this set of equation, we we propose a solution that preserve this uh, independence of the matter behavior in the two patches. Uh, that is a solution of the constraint 25. That is uh, this, I mean, uh, the energy density in A and B evolves in the usual way because this is a solution of the of the of 25 that is the is the constraint now and this is at least the minimal uh, assumption that respect the independent evolution of matter in the two patches so we can write the equations of motion uh, in in this way are, are now 28 and 29 uh it's uh we write this uh, the equation in this in this way so you have only matter, you don't have any radiation or other things, right? I'm sorry, what? You don't have radiation. Uh, you can have radiation here. Uh, That's what I mean. Only matter, fusion matter. Well, if omega is uh, zero, you have a uh, pressure. Too many matter dominated uh, universe. Yes, you can. you can do that. You 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 can do that. You you it's uh, you choose. Uh, but we are interested in the early universe, so we will put this, uh, here. We explore uh, both cases, just with the uh, pressureless matter and with radiation, and then we concentrate on the radiation area. You put uh, the uh, particle constant equal to zero in this equation. I, I'm sorry, I I cannot. Uh, it's uh, to put zero what? The cosmological constants. You ah, cosmological zero. constant. Yes, yes. No, we put zero. I'm sorry. Yes, I, I didn't say that. Uh, we put zero cosmological constant because we are interested in the early evolution. So dominate uh, uh, radiation. So at the end, we will put omega equal to one third. Yeah. Yes. So we cancel here cosmological constant. We put uh, at, 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 at the beginning zero from now on. Yes. Yes, thanks. Uh, these equations, 28 and 29, are uh, equations of the type uh, here that they are called the uh, non-standard cosmologies. I mean, we found that uh, if we put matter in, in this way, we end with a sort of what people have uh, people studied and, is, uh, and they call non-standard cosmology, except that in the, non, in the real non-standard cosmology, this part is generated by the presence of a, of a fields and these are constant and these are the energy density of this uh, of this particular field in our case uh, the, the the role of this extra field is played by the this uh, this extra term coming from this deformation of the of the poison of the poison bracket mm -hmm. and this here we can see well these are this equation we can solve numerically and here we can see for example one case uh, where the the b uh, uh, the b patch contains non relativistic matter and the a patch contains uh, contains uh, uh, contains relativistic uh, relativistic matter so what we can see here is this a behavior? I mean, this is the temperature here. Is the the is the the begin well, more or less beginning of the universe, early, very early universe. This is the Big Bang nucleosynthesis uh, scale temperature, and what we see here is that, for example, this is the radiation content uh, in in blue. For this is uh, for uh, for different kappa. This is the case of kappa equal to zero, and this is just to check that nothing happened. I mean, are, they are completely disconnected system. But when uh, when you have uh, these uh, different values of kappa, what you see is that the matter content in B, that should be this, uh, decrease the energy density. And part of the energy density, or, or, or 
what the, all the energy passed to the to a and then uh, the energy density of a uh, grows and then stop because all the energy from b uh, go to a and and this happened at some temperature that you can fix according to the value of kappa uh, there's also a dependence on the initial conditions i mean um the, this uh, on a quantity that we call the delta uh, at some point so uh, if the this is delta equal equal one, it means that the matter uh, content in both uh, the density matter in both patches are are symmetric. But you can choose uh, differently. In the next uh, slide, we will see what what happened. Nothing different happened except that uh, you need to adjust uh, kappa and delta because, for example, you don't want that this happen uh, after the big bang the BBN temperature. I mean, from here uh, to the left. Uh, essentially, there's uh, measurements, a lot of measurements, and you don't want to disturb the history of the universe in the A part uh, from this temperature or beyond this temperature. Uh, and then uh, this process should end more or less here. I mean, this, for example, this is something that the, you, you don't want. I mean, you don't want that the complete decay of the energy content of B goes to A, uh, after the BBN, because you need to adjust uh, other, uh, uh, because the picture after BBN is, is, is clear, more or less clear. Uh, this is uh, the same situation for uh, for radiation in BA now. Uh, and you see that the, 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 the behavior is similar. So you can find, you can, choose your kappa so that the processes end at uh, the BBN uh, temperature. So our numeric, numerical analysis shows what I just uh, said. I mean, you have the your matter content in the in B, which is in principle non-observable, but this uh, energy drains to the sector A and in this case, for this example, change the, the content of, or the, the energy density of the matter, for example, uh, uh, of the radiation, that is the, the, the problem that we are interested, radiation content in A, but you can choose parameters so that uh, this happen uh, before the BBN uh, temperature. And then you can, uh, you will not see uh, effects of this deformation after this uh, uh, this uh, after this temperature. Now, well, ah, this is a, well, this is a, uh, this is a different situation. This is what happened with a non-standard cosmology. I mean, but here is different. You see that the density, the energy density is due to an extra field, and in our case, this uh, this energy is uh, provided by the B patch, and this is the standard uh, model uh, energy density. So it's a similar situation uh, compared with, uh, with this one. Now we go to, we wanted to see what happened if we consider uh, the universe with the matter, uh, with dark matter. And then uh, we say, okay, we will have put in the in the A patch only a relativistic matter. So we are in the in the early universe. We will put lambda zero because it's a it's a contribution. Uh, it's a small contribution. And what we did, uh, we said, okay, we know the evolution of uh, ordinary. I mean, the radiation in the A sector. And this is the B sector, which can be used, uh, can be can be uh, radiation also, or, or for example, ordinary matter with omega equal to uh, omega equal to zero. And these are the terms, the extra terms that came from this uh, deformation. And for this uh, dark matter, we said we will put the dark matter only in the uh, observable universe, the A patch. Describe in the usual way. I mean, we we don't have modification, so we can more or less we can anticipate what will happen. That matter will evolve as uh, as in the as uh, in in lambda CMD model, 
But the evolution of this, uh, this quality, the, the Hubble parameter in A will be uh, different from the standard uh, uh, Lambda CDM universe because, uh, because this uh, evolved in a, with the different equations of motion induced by this kappa. Uh, we can see here, well, the, this equation should be uh, solved together with the scale factors equation that we see here. Well, these are the standard one. There's no change, and this is uh, also happened at the at the in the in the, in the previous case. So uh, the problem is uh, what can, what what are the effects of these modifi modifications? Well, here is the evolution. In a, uh, th there's different mechanism to produce this that essentially has to do with the size of uh, of a of the cross section, uh, of the cross section uh, interaction of this uh, of the ma dark matter particles. This is a, a, it's an, a standard uh, picture where uh, the cross section and the mass uh, are chosen in a way that you see the this is the, the here start the the this is the BBM temperature. Well, the the it's a um, dark matter mass uh, over temperature. So. The evolution of the universe here goes from here uh, to to the from the left to the right. So here is the BBN where I start BBN. This is the density dark matter uh, density. Uh, well, is the is, is, is essentially the dark matter density that we observed. So we should be here. Uh, this is the evolution of the standard lambda CDM, but with the wrong parameters uh, the, for cross section. And you see, also here you see that the, the uh, dark matter density evolves as is expected, but then the, the this is the scenario where uh, the production is in uh, is uh, the thermal production. So here start the decoupling from the rest of the matter, and there are he, here the density uh, stop the evolution, so freeze. The, the density, and this should be what we observe uh, today. So this line should be here. Uh, uh, well, I, I explained this uh, already. Uh, so this is uh, what happened with the with the with the parameters that uh, the parameters that do not fit the observations uh, today. Uh, this is the the same the same evolution, but in this model of two metrics. I mean, the same evolution means that we have the same values of parameters. I mean, Excuse uh, the cross section. Me. Huh? Excuse me, but uh, uh, your dark matter particle, you're saying that is the case, but into what? I mean, you haven't written an interaction with other particles, so I don't understand what, what the Lagrangian and that. I don't know what the hell. Where that is the case? Where are the other particles which is the case? Uh, but this uh, no, maybe I, I I'm using this the wrong the wrong uh, the wrong. Uh, um, But this is the the the, the density evolution uh, out of equilibrium. No, okay. no, I, I I really don't have the answer right now. Uh, I okay. uh, oh, let, 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 let me go. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks. Right. Uh, but but this is just a an, 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 uh, this is just a, a, a choice of parameters. So what we thought that let, let me skip this. Uh, this is a parameter space uh, uh, picture. So all these lines, for example, these lines is the line of all uh, cross section and mass that are consistent with the density observed. Today, uh, in in our in, in in our model for different values of kappa, so you, 
one can see that uh, this uh, what this model is showing is that uh, you can choose uh, uh, this uh, except for the for the one that we showed there. I I think that uh, well you have a, a, a wide possibility of uh, mass and and cross section that are not allowed in the standard uh, in the standard description. Uh, this is the same. It's not the same. This is the situation when you choose uh, different initial conditions for uh, matter density content, uh, and not that matter, matter density content and the, on A and, and B. Uh, so you, what we can see again, that we have uh, the this uh, set of possible parameters that fit the density of server today. Until here, when you pass one of these lines, uh, then you the, the, the drain happens after the BBN. So we, we we don't want this. So these are the I mean we exclude all the all the parameters to the right uh, from uh, to the right from here. Uh, this is a similar situation with the fixed delta, but uh, in this case B is filled with non-relativistic uh, relativistic matter. I'm sorry, relativistic matter. The other case B was. Uh, filled with uh, non-relativistic matter. And again, situation is similar. You have a set of uh, parameters for uh, mass and, and cross-section that now are allowed uh, because you have this uh, kappa parameter. Uh, this is a different mechanism in production, but let me skip this now. Uh, because, okay, this is, a, I'm trying to give a summary of this uh of what we found for the case of uh, dark matter uh, it, it might be now it seems that it, it, it was something that one should expect because you have a, a, another parameter now that is kappa so now you probably you can uh, admit now solutions uh with different mass and cross section that are not allowed in the in the standard uh, description because now you have a new parameter and the answer is yes this is what is happening you have a new parameter and you can adjust this uh, parameter and find solutions that are not allowed in the in the usual in the usual de description but this is a uh, uh, but in principle it, I mean we cannot it, it's not possible to we think that it's not possible to know this until you make this the this uh, this uh, this analysis so uh let me finish now uh this is a model as an, an, an and your question is a point to this this is a model with uh, two scales and the interpretation the physical interpretation of these two scales is an open question i mean we don't we don't we are not saying that the interpretation or the right interpretation is uh, two universes or, or something like, or, or universes or pieces of universes that causally disconnected or uh, that maybe maybe or pieces of universe that are not uh, are um, uh, are separated by some topological obstructions or, or or this this is an interpretation we don't have an answer about this uh, we can ask also uh, we also could ask if uh, why two patches, why not three, four, or something like this. Uh, but this is a, an, just an, 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 it's just an idea. Uh, uh, what I was thinking about this is that uh, it's true. It's no, this is just a model to test an idea. Probably the, I, don't, I wouldn't say the right idea, but probably an, a different interpretation would be to have N of these patches and to have a, statistical description of the system in terms of these uh, different patches I, I don't know i don't i don't know if this is uh, is this is uh, possible or maybe a statistical approach with n patches uh, just washed out uh, all what we said here uh, but mm, this is something that we need to 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 study uh, uh, but we explore uh, other uh, other scenarios also. Uh, for example, here we we try to understand uh, this as a kind a sort of magnetic field. I mean, the primordial magnetic fields. Uh, we we what we study also was uh, an, an attempt to 
study this uh, from the point of view of, uh, of a non-commutative model. I mean, uh, right like a non-commutative geometry, but non-commutative model in the space of fields and try to get an interpretation of uh, a sort of quantum um, interpretation in terms of quantum mechanics. Uh, and the last uh, attempt uh, or the last study that we did was uh, we studied dark matter, but not uh, these uh, WIMPs uh, or WIS particles like the, we, we, we were uh, discussing here, but axionic dark matter. And the situation is similar. I mean, uh, uh, the the I mean the the general the general uh, idea for the evolution of dark matter is that you have a sort of this called non cosmological uh, non standard cosmology where you have injection of entropy from what one sector to to the other and so you modify the the evolution of the dark matter density and and uh, you can fix uh, properly the parameters so you can match uh, observations uh, the, the, the today. This is a, essentially, this is, I, I would say that this is the, the main conclusion. Uh, well, these were some references in, in the, in the, in the, that I, I, I cite in, uh, right now, uh, but the complete reference are in the publications. And just to finish, uh, I just, uh, I just finished as I started saying thanks to the high energy physics group for this uh, kind invitation. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Fernando, for the very nice talk. Question from the audience. We have a couple of questions. Usual, very Please. simple one. And you don't have anything to say, I think. I mean, you have assumed that before the matter dominated area or something, before that and uh, during inflation, how was this produced? I mean, what uh, do you have any idea how was this universe was produced this way? I mean, what what might have happened uh, uh, to, to have this? Probably you haven't thought about that, but I don't know. Uh, yes, we, 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 well, it's, it's just a, a, a thought because I, it, before inflation, I mean, we should not uh, see any of these things. So if something happened that allows you to see this like different parts of the universe, probably it's, uh, some mechanism after uh, after inflation that leads you with a different disconnected part. But uh, apart this, uh, and, or something that we can calculate is, uh, no, no. We, no, it's, it's something that we have, a, we, we, we couldn't find a mechanism. Because this is related to the fact that, how do you somehow, because like I said before, universe is supposed to be right now very homogeneous and electrotropic. I mean, what, what will be the smoking gun for this? I mean, how do you, Terminologically, what is something different that you will expect? For example, the cosmological background uh, ground shows also the universe should be, should be also isotropic and homogeneous. Everything points in that direction. So, what in this case, uh, phenologically, what you expect something, some signal or something that would be different from the usual cosmological model? What well, is something happened? Uh, we in our model, or, or in in the model with uh, with matter, is something that uh, we expect before. What uh, is, uh, as you say, uh, is uh, settled down today. That as the observation, we are pretty sure after BBN. So it's um, it, it must be sort of mechanism previous the, this uh, this uh, this epoch. Uh, I, I I don't know. We, we were thinking about a kind of model of uh, a quantum uh, quantum gravity model. This is what we were pointing to, but uh, pointing at, but but uh, specifically, uh, I cannot say uh, a particular mechanism because uh, I don't know how to write a, how to let's say how to calculate this. So it's very speculative. 
Bastian, you have a question, please. Ah, yes. Um, well, more, yeah, yeah. It's a question and a comment. Uh, well, thank you very much for the presentation. And there, can you go back to this uh, freeze out uh, when you, of dark matter? Mm. Yes, that one. So uh, I, I don't know if you are familiar with uh, with with a paper uh, which is called um, uh, it's called uh, when the universe expands too fast, relentless dark matter, uh, and it's a paper of uh, Stefano Prof Profumo, Deramo, and Nicolas Fernandez, um, 2017, and they show. Uh, a similar pattern of the of this decoupling, um, and they call it uh, relentless dark matter freeze out, and um, which is basically they they study the of yeah the freeze out of dark matter in a modified cosmology uh, triggered by uh, um, early matter uh, dominance before um, before BBN. And they show exactly, at least in 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 terms of uh, of, of plots, uh, it's is the same. Have you seen uh, this? Uh, are are you familiarized with this uh, paper that I'm talking? I about? I, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm familiarized, but uh, I was a comment from maybe from the uh, referee and my mm -hmm. colleague. Uh, that uh, he is uh, more expert than me, pretty much expert than me in uh, in dark matter, and he comment also this to me. Yeah, and, yeah. And 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 this is something that we were uh, uh, discussing a lot. I mean, it's the same. Uh, how 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 is this possible? Or maybe for some yeah. choice of parameters, we are the same, and 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 we go apart from if we go to to uh, to other parameters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, Yes, I, I remember that uh, that was mentioned, uh, uh, but uh, certainly by my colleague. But uh, maybe the referee also called our attention on this. Yes, but in in, in general words, uh, would you expect some equivalence between bimetric uh, scenarios with um, early matter domination, for instance? In principle, I admit, roughly speaking, not entering into yes. the days, but in principle, could be some similarities in the phenomenology or yes yes the, this is a, and 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 this is why our i mean what we we ended with convinced that this is a different kind of the uh, of a non standard cosmology uh, equations are similar the behavior is similar and we can maybe we can find some ranges where things are exactly the same and we cannot say which is which or what is what uh, but uh, but yes yes mm -hmm. okay Thank you very much. Thank you. More questions from the audience? I had a short question. Which is the motivation for choosing this tiny value for the kappa parameter, for example, in this figure ah, in several? Yes. No, 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 yes. Uh, because uh, for different parameters, uh, we didn't find solution. But this parameter is the same that ex exhibits the this uh, for for the previous to dark matter exhibits to the the good behavior of the decay before BBN. So with different kappas, you will end with the with the the decay uh, uh, or too early or or or. or, uh, or uh, uh, yes, too, too early or near the the, the 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 present time. So to to control the decay in the time we want, uh, this is more or less the order of the kappa parameter. Yes, this is this is why. Mm -hmm. mm, I see. So there is some fine tuning because, for example, taking value for kappa, let's say ten to the minus twenty, it may not work. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. More questions from the audience? If there are no more questions, we send Fernando Mendes for the very nice and complete talk. Thank you very much, Fernando.
thank you very much uh, to uh, let me see <laughs> my name is antonio thank, thank you, you uh, I have an examination now. I have to to go, but oh, I goodbye and have a nice time. Thank you, time, and, you. Thank you yeah, everybody. Yeah. It was a really thank nice you, uh, moment. And thank you, thank Fernando. You. Thank you, Fernando. Great Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Gracias. Ciao.